my granddad on my dad's side first and bought a ranch up there on the Mesa that Danzinger owns now. But his half-brother was already here, and he had a ranch on Missouri Heights. And he had three boys and a daughter, and the boys all had ranches up there. And they started to raise potatoes, and Dad never raised a potato in his life. And he, they, he had to go out and pick some, and the other boys, that was from the half-brother, had picked potatoes, and they was in pretty good shape. Well, Dad wasn't. But he was bound and determined that he was going to stay with them to pick potatoes and wasn't going to say a word. And he did, but he said his back just killed him for two days after that. I would imagine. He must have been tougher than a boot, though, to well, just keep going. Before he come out here from Iowa, he went up into the Dakotas helped thrash on a thrashing crew. And I told him that maybe I'll go look for a place up there. He said, no, you don't. The bugs up there are thick. You better stay out of up there. <laughs> so we did. And uh, Pat was just telling about the first time she met you. It was, uh, she was, it was her first time to go to the Garfield County Fair, she said. Do yes. you remember that? Do you want to tell your version? Well, we was going down in Darcy Brown's car. Diddy sat in the front seat. Pat sat in the back seat, way over there, just as far as she could get. And I sat on the, just as far as I get on this side. Didn't say much. And then <clears throat> went on to the fair. And then, of course, she ended up staying at the Perry's. She was looking for a place, you know, to stay because she's going to taste teach English mm -hmm. in the Carbondale School. And, uh... Well, she said she always wanted to marry a, a cowboy. And yeah. I guess you you qualified, huh? You spent a lot of your time working horses and... Punching cows. Punching cows. I, yeah, I, I don't know if I was a cowboy or not. I was a little bit of everything. Bucking bales, mostly. And, uh... So did you, chasing cows. Did you work mostly outside all your life? All my life, yeah. Do you have memories of potato days? Was it a, a oh, big yeah. deal when you were a young man? Yes, so I remember. Set the scene for me. What was it like? I remember over here where this park is where they used to play football. There was a good set of corrals there. They had six bucking chutes, and they even had a racetrack fenced in on both sides <clears throat> and uh, they give some good rodeos there was there money purses oh yes we always had money purses and then uh, I forget what year it was it was back in 47 old Ray Wimmer was mail delivered mail up cattle creek and up Missouri Heights he tore down the chutes and built his corral down here for his horses in Carbondale. He had three horses. And uh, we, there was Bob Perry and Darcy and Ray and just a few of us started up the uh, rodeo up again. We had to rebuild chutes and, uh, and a fence around for a roping arena. So you guys put it back. You brought it we back. We started bringing it back, and we worked for the Forest Service, and we used uh, krell poles, wire, and then we put a krell pole, two krell poles in the middle and one on top. So every time we'd come down, we'd cut a truckload of krell poles and bring them to put on the uh, arena. And we made some krells, a couple of bucking chutes, and... Uh, then we we stayed there for a while, and Bob Cook was the was a coach, and he was scared that the kids was going to get some disease from cattle, so we had to move it again. We moved it three times, and then we uh, Gus Darian gave us some land over on him, 
and uh, we built another one. We, we, and we didn't know whether we were going to have a roadie or a potato oh. today or not. And so this, you, you guys held the ground. That ground, we, we, he gave us a deed to it, the rope club. So it was our ground. And uh, it took a long time to get it from him, but we got it. Well, it's guys like you that have, have, have kept the agricultural spirit in this valley. And well, we helped, yeah. We was, I liked agriculture. So what is it about agriculture? You've spent your life in it. What is it that has enriched your life? Oh, I like the cattle business. And, of course, the hay, and that goes along with the cattle. You may not like that much. I'm in real rotten shape from hand. I got a bad back that looks like this and I got a neck that's glued together so I ain't too good a shape for ranching but Has it been good to you otherwise? Oh think? yeah because I, cause I oh uh, absolutely